Hello, I'm Jay Lewis. I'm the chaplain at the Union Rescue Mission in Wichita. I'd like to take just a couple of minutes here this morning and just share with you some things going on at the mission. Um, uh, we're working at full capacity. Uh, we have installed new beds in the chapel area uh, for guys to, to be able to sleep and get up off the floor. So that's been a real plus this week. And I think uh, Tom Myers and Kim DeWerf for doing that. Um, but we're still holding chapel services as well. We're doing chapel services with our in-house staff, and that's worked out very well uh, during this time. And for all you volunteers who come in to, to speak, I uh, just want to let you know that after April is over, we're going to reassess things and uh, see where we, where we stand. And uh, if we are able to start back up with uh, chapel, we will uh, let you know and uh, get you back on the, the calendar to come in and speak. We appreciate you very much for your willingness to come to the mission and to share with the men. Um, a few days ago, um, uh, some of our Nashville family posted a video and uh, my son-in-law is in a Christian singing group and uh, travel around and his older brother shared something that I wanna share with you as well. Um, he said he, when this all broke and things were starting to kind of get out of hand and didn't know what they were going to do, they were getting dates canceled all across the country, um, he didn't know really where to turn. And so he called a good friend of his in New York City. And in New York, uh, as you know, things are going crazy. And uh, this, is, this man is a businessman. He's uh, done very well for himself. And he called him and he just started to unload on all the things that was going on with the, with the ministry and so forth. And the man stopped him and he just said, be still, just be still. And he began to talk a little faster about things that were going on there in Nashville. And he said, be still. And so I think that's the word for us today. The words, uh, the two words that really speak. Uh, we find those words in the scripture in Psalm 46, 10. Be still and know that I am God. And I will be honored by every nation and I'll be honored throughout the world. And during this turmoil uh, of events that are happening across the, the, the whole continent, the whole globe, um, be still and know that I am God. Uh, and that word still is, a, is an interesting word. I think uh, what God is telling us is to slow down, to slow down. He's taken all of our gods away from us, sports and, and entertainment, and now uh, it's just us and him. And so we've had to slow down. Chuck Gerard sings a song called Slow Down. He, he uh, recorded that in, uh, in the early 70s, and I listened to it this morning on YouTube. If you get a chance, go to YouTube and just search uh, Chuck Gerard Slow Down, and it's very, very appropriate words for us today. But the word still in this passage uh, is kind of an acrostic, and I wanted to share that with you a little bit. The S stands for silence. Sometimes we just need to be silent. We just need to get away by ourselves and be silent, just us and God. That way we can hear his voice in our frenzied world today. We very rarely get a chance to just hear from God. And so the word, the, the, the letter S is the letter we're going to call um, silent. Then the next uh, letter is the letter T. And we're going we're gonna to say that that word means trust. Um, trust that we come to this crisis of belief, as Henry Blackaby used to say, and what we do next determines what we believe about God. So a lot of the things that's going on in the world today, uh, what we do next determines really what we believe about who God is. And so we need to trust him, trust him during this these times. And then the next letter in our acrostic is I. And I've, I've just assigned the, the uh, word invest to that uh, letter. Invest what you have to give to others. Invest your wisdom and give to others. Invest your things to give to others. The other day I was shopping and I was on the bottom shelf looking for a bag of rice. All the rice was gone. And I noticed on the back, on the, on the underneath shelf, uh, all the way to the back were two bags of rice. And so I got back there and I fished for them and I pulled them out and, uh, Lo and behold, there was a lady there saying, are there two bags of, of rice? And so I was able to give her a bag and keep a bag. Same thing happened with toilet paper the day before. And so I was able to do that as well. Then the letter L, listen. Listen to the still small voice of God. Listen to family. Listen to our friends. In this crazy mixed up world, we rarely get a chance to listen. 
And then the other L is the L that we're going to just assign the word love. I'm convinced that if we're silent, if we trust in our Father, if we invest in others, if we listen to the voice of God and those around us, we will love others. We have a chance, Christians, to show the world really who Jesus is during this turbulent time. And so let me encourage you, get on YouTube, look up the, the song, Slow Down, and then do what it says. Slow down, be still, and know that He is God. And when we do that, the verse also gives us a couple promises. He says, if we're still and know that He is God, He says, I will be honored by every nation, and I will be honored throughout the world. What better time for the, us than to be still and know that he is God so that he can be honored throughout the world and in every nation. God bless you. Take care of yourself. Be careful. And just love God. Be still and know that he is God. God bless you.